Between the 1950s and the 1980s, fashion underwent major changes as a reflection of the social, economic, and cultural dynamics of society. The evolution of fashion in this period was affected by both economic conditions and social reactions. In order to understand how the changes between these years developed compared to today, it is important to examine the fashion of the period and the social dynamics behind this fashion. The 1950s were a period when post-war economic growth began and consumer culture rapidly spread. With the end of the Second World War, many countries entered the economic recovery process, and this caused the fashion industry to take shape. Particularly in the United States and Europe, the creation of a post-war innovative atmosphere played an important role in the evolution of fashion. In these years, femininity and elegance came to the fore for women. The designs that Christian Dior called New Look were known for clothes that emphasized the waist and used wide skirts. This style was a reflection of women's desire to dress more ostentatiously and luxuriously after the end of the war. Economic recovery and increasing consumption power enabled such designs to reach wider audiences. Women's roles in society were also being reshaped during this period. In addition to the image of the housewife, participation in the workforce was increasing and this was also affecting fashion. In men's fashion, more classic and timeless clothes were at the forefront. Suits, jackets, and ties have become standard in men's casual wear. Fashion during this period generally had a serious and disciplined tone and reflected the values of the society. However, towards the end of the 1950s, with the emergence of youth culture, some changes were observed in this classical and serious style. The 1960s were a period when social changes accelerated, and this was also reflected in fashion. Youth movements, counterculture movements, and demands for gender equality have caused major changes in the fashion world. During this period, miniskirts and colorful, bold patterns became popular. Designers such as Mary Quant designed clothes that met and expressed the expectations of young people. 1960s fashion was also an expression of feminism and social change. It was also noteworthy that during this period, fashion began to be used as a form of social and cultural expression. For example, hippie culture manifested itself in long hair and loose and comfortable clothing. This style symbolized both personal freedom and social equality. On the other hand, this variability of fashion increased the influence of popular culture among young people. These years represented both a departure from traditional fashion and the creation of a new fashion aesthetic. The 1970s were a period when fashion was shaped by both glam rock and punk culture. Glam rock was characterized by glitter and extravagant clothing. This style, along with its influence on the music world, also influenced the general understanding of fashion. Artists such as David Bowie were among the fashion-setting figures in this period. Punk, on the other hand, represented a more rebellious and unique style. Torn clothes, leather jackets, and an aggressive attitude showed the influence of punk culture on fashion. Economic situations were one of the important factors affecting fashion in these periods. The 1970s saw energy crises and economic recession. This situation also affected the fashion industry, and there was a trend towards more economical and useful clothing and designs. Towards the end of the 1970s, Due to economic problems, simpler and more practical clothes began to come to the fore. The 1980s were a period when economic growth and consumer culture reached their peak. During these years, large and flashy clothes, big shoulders and bright colors became popular. Fashion reflected wealth and power. During this period, designers produced bolder and extravagant designs. The rapid growth and globalization of the fashion industry enabled fashion trends in the 1980s to reach wider audiences. Compared to today, we can say that the fashion changes from the 1950s to the 1980s are quite the evident. 1950s today, and the 1980s, fashion has become a field that supports more diverse and personal of forms social, of expression. With the influence of social media, of the fashion world the is changing faster and personal styles are more prominent. However, understanding how changes in, in past periods were shaped by social and economic factors can today, help us better understand the evolution of fashion and current trends. In the 1970s, 
70s, fashion, fashion was shaped under the influence of glam rock and punk cultures. While glam rock was known for glittering and extravagant clothes, the end of the punk culture World showed War, itself with torn clothes and leather jackets. What process, do you think were the social and, and cultural reflections of the fashion shape, trends in these periods? In the Is there a similar States rebellious Europe, or flamboyant style in today's fashion world? The 1980s were a period of peak of economic growth and in major years, accessory clothes. Broad and shoulders and bright colors became women. fashionable. The that During Christian these years, fashion represented wealth and power. How do you think 1980s fashion shirts. relates to today's fast fashion and consumer culture? To dress in your opinion, how do you evaluate what kind of changes of fashion has undergone today and the reasons and behind these changes? Power today's fashion has become a field that supports more diverse and personal forms of expression. Also being Social media has rapidly period. changed the fashion world the and personal styles are more prominent. In the How do you find the evolution of fashion compared to previous periods? Fashion. In your opinion, fashion, what are the effects of past fashion trends on today's trends? Were at the to understand the past Suits, and present of fashion, it is important to consider the historical context. Fashion In your opinion, period, how has fashion progressed from past to present and, and where do you think this journey is heading? However, towards the end of the 1950s, with the emergence of youth culture, some changes were observed in this classical and serious style. The 1960s were a period when social changes accelerated, and this was also reflected in fashion.